Remember the time you didn't have a girlfriend, you were so lonely that your hand turned into a girl. What the hell? While re-watching anime for my recent romance video, you know, the one where I talked about my cringy confession, I'm like, oh yeah, there's a lot of weird stuff out there. So let's talk about some of the weirdest romance in anime. The last one may even top some right-hand love. For anime, not too surprising, you would eventually fall in love with this alien. You may recall this colossal hit Netflix had early on for anime. Knights of Sidonia. I mean, the CG is already not doing this anime any favors. Spoilers aside, let's just say that one of the main characters actually has a relationship with this alien girl. Yes, that was originally a human, and I can't be the only one thinking, oh, that looks like something straight out of AOT. And ah uh, yes, it's very anime when it goes tentacle. So when it's not looking like a reject titan, it's actually using that tentacle to do some couple-like things. <laughs> and from the far shot, it may look like something else. And honestly, I don't think I have the dirtiest mind. But you can't tell me it doesn't look like what you think it does. YouTube, that is an alien. And I don't really even want to know how exactly you get Tentacle-chan and this guy actually having some sort of connection. That's definitely going to cause issues later on. Any dog people watching? So tell me, how much do you love your dog? And I mean, love your dog. Let your mind wonder. So imagine you're about to get a sack eyed by Truckoon. Oh wait, this guy got shot. I guess this takes place in the US. The guy is at Heaven's Gate, just about to get his OP power in this brain dead harem. Paradise is so close, but no, he actually gets it worse than freaking Kazuma. Yeah, this high school guy is now reincarnated as a freaking dog. Wait, little girl, what are you doing with those scissors? So the guy got shot, he became a dog, and now he's with this sadist that likes doing fun things with scissors. Perfect. So could this guy actually have a better run now being a literal furry? Or is he actually going to give the term puppy love a whole new meaning? Oh why Japan, just this sad guy this bastard already. In an enemy that seems straight out of Dark Mirror, don't worry there's no Terminators around, and it's not this awful Matrix sequel. Instead of getting the latest iPhone 15, in this world you get something called a Persocon. And yes, they just happen to look like females. I'm just gonna say what we're all thinking. Every guy is gonna upgrade their computer to have extra features. Wink wink. <laughs> Fitting into the theme of anime, the main character guy here doesn't have a girlfriend, so of course he happens to just stumble upon one of these robots out in the open. Free computer? No, free girlfriend. You know, I can't even begin to imagine how sticky that thing would be. Like you might expect, there's actually a rumor that some of these androids may have free will. So it seems this guy literally won the lottery. Oh, you'll have a blast knowing where her on button is. This is totally made by a guy, if it wasn't completely obvious already. Getting serious for a second, I did mention Black Mirror at the beginning, but it's actually interesting and weird that this anime it may actually be more relevant today than like a decade ago when it came out. I don't think it's gonna be our generation, maybe Gen Z, that's gonna have to struggle with this question. Can I fall in love with an AI? Can I date this robot? Can I legally marry Miku? Or whatever VTuber's popular. Just make a REM one and I'll be happy. And just in time to give me that energy boost, this video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat. And this is a big boy. Uh, uh. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese subscription box with up to 20 exclusive Japanese snacks and candies. Got the bucklet. Oh, pudding flavored Kit Kats. A cookie and cream waffle. Got some cheesy sticks. A big old bowl of ramen, tomato flavored. Got freaking Baskin Robin, which is a poppin' shower, a popcorn caramel drink soda. I have to make today a cheat day. Mmm, lemony flavored. Every month there is a new theme like this one, snacking in Shibuya, which does include this booklet giving you the juicy details about the snacks. This time it's pot high with exclusive pop culture snacks from all over downtown Tokyo. So if you want to enjoy some of these delicious snacks, Go ahead and use my code FOXEN to get $5 off your first box of Tokyo Treat. And take it from someone that's been living here for like 4 years, you're getting your money's worth. Go ahead and check the link down below, let's get Tokyo Treat to come back. Getting into a more creepy route. I'm definitely a little biased on this one since I watched this in freaking middle school. So forget about your thick robot girls. What do you get when this lonely guy slowly starts to fall in love with a painting? Oh yeah, that blonde lolly there? What if she slowly started talking to you? You slowly started to have fantasies about her in the PG sense. And eventually both of you actually start having a connection. Yeah, ignore the other people around you. Let's ignore her asking you for blood sacrifices. Just give your soul, your entire being to the blonde painting in the wall. Not gonna lie, till this day, this actually has been one of the most intriguing anime I watched. My little chubby self in middle school playing Yu-Gi-Oh definitely did not get it the first time watching it. I then saw it in high school a few years later and 
and I got it a little bit more. And it's just been one of those bizarre anime that stuck with me. Do I want to admit this? Not about the horrific blonde out of a scary movie, but I actually recall having vivid dreams about watching this anime, like every few years. I don't think it was until the third time watching it that I fully understood it. And after spending like 10 years learning Japanese, I think I should go back for a revisit. And the soundtrack is just Chef's Kiss. So eerie. <laughs> Sticking with the themes of having no girlfriend, this next guy has it so bad that even grandma rejected him. Oh, that's hot. He was that desperate, truly forever alone. And what really feels like something only Japan could bring onto the page, you got this guy falling in love with his right hand. And not in the way all of us guys watching did recently, his hand literally becomes a girl. In fact, even more convenient, it actually becomes a girl that has a crush on him. So it looks like this lucky bastard is gonna be enjoying his solo sessions. So is this guy lucky, or is he actually going to be able to beat his situation? Wanker jokes aside, I actually would not mind seeing the reverse. Instead of getting Rosie, how about getting Todd on your hand for the female protagonist? That would probably be a nightmare. In the only anime that I think might have a weirder relationship than the last one, I'll let you decide. So imagine your boy Kong, except he doesn't come back as himself. It's Japan, so you gotta twist it up a bit. Let's bring you back at something that all Japanese girls love. And no, not sweets, not a fat stack, not tapioca. A freaking vending machine. Specifically, a coffee vending machine. Oh, someone up there did not like this Japanese general. So yes, can this girl and his coffee samurai may actually make a feature together? As someone that works till like 5 a.m. editing these videos, give me like a girlfriend version of this coffee machine. And yeah, romance anime used to be weird. At least we have wholesome love anime now. Strike that, at least Hunter Hunter is coming back. Oh, and Stranger Things. Check out this awesome video and I'll see you guys later.